All right, y'all, this is Ricky Smiley Morning Show in the studio. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. 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 What's up? Let's handle first business first. Tell us what's going on November the 22nd. On Monday, November 22nd, my debut album, Pink Friday, will be in stores. It's currently out on pre-order. If you want to pre-order it, you guys, pre-order it on iTunes.com now, and you'll get my new single with, Roman, with Eminem. It's called Roman's Revenge. You'll get it immediately. And you can pre-order at Best Buy, um, everywhere where albums are sold, you can pre-order it. All right, now, in the Nicki Minaj folklore, right, there was a video that was floating around that people were trying to say was you, like, doing your dramatic acting thing, saying that you once had a relationship with Remy Martin. Is there any truth to that? Do you really seriously have to ask me that question? That I really question do, because so a lot of people ask that question, and I, it wouldn't be right if you came in here and I didn't ask you. So, it. You, so you can see if it's clear. Okay, so you're asking me, did I dress up as a boy and put myself on YouTube and say that I was with Remy Ma? It looks crazier than it sounds, <laughs> but I had to ask I'm you. I'm not even going to give that my energy and answer it because it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. But you have seen the video that I'm talking about. I haven't. I, first of all, when I hear stupidness like that, I do not go and watch the video. Because gotcha. I have too much things on my mind. I run an entire company every day. I have a staff that I pay every day. I'm not going to go online and watch a girl say she was with Remy Ma and people say that that's Nicki Minaj. I mean, you have to be retarded to believe stuff like that. I think people just have nothing to talk about. Right. Like, I mean, are you kidding me? Why don't we talk about the, the records that I broke on Billboard? You know, how I put females back on the map right now. Why don't we talk about selling 4.5 million singles on, you know, on Billboard? Like, why don't we talk about that? I'm tired of talking about stupidness. I've been putting so much work in, I'm just tired of the stupidity right now. Makes sense. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's out there because, uh, uh, Lord knows, they, they it seems like there's uh, people just attacking all the damn, all the artists or whatever. Now, how many Barbie dolls do you currently own? <laughs> I own not one. Really? <laughs> I don't Are you own kidding? one, Ricky. I don't own no. I, I, yeah. And when I was little, I couldn't really afford Barbie dolls. Wow. So it's weird. So how'd the whole Barbie thing come about? Just it, Barbie didn't come, it didn't really have anything to do with the actual doll, mm -hmm. you know? It was more like, you know, Barbie kind of represents being prissy and being cute. Right. And when I got dressed, I always felt like I looked like a doll. And I thought all girls look like dolls because you see a girl on Monday and they look completely different on Tuesday. So it's right. like, you know, you could change a wig and change, you know, uh, uh, lipstick or, the, you know, your pants. And you just kind of look like a different person or whatever. So I started calling myself a Howard Jones Barbie. Because, gotcha. you know, I love the Asian, you know, thing as well as the Barbie feel. And next thing you know, I said, one day I said, you know what, instead of saying goodbye, I'm going to say, it's Barbie, bitch. And I put that on Twitter, and everybody just started Ran saying that. They thought that was, like, cute. So we were right. like, it's Barbie, bitch. And next thing you know, uh, we have the Barbie movement. So the symbolism of the broken do uh, Barbie doll on the cover of the Pink Friday album, what is, like, what is, how, how is people supposed to translate that? Like, what are you I, saying? I like that it's up for interpretation. You know what I mean? Um... I don't really want to overanalyze it, and I don't want to overexplain it. I think it's art. I don't like you know if a painter if a painter paints some abstract art. I don't want him to tell me what it is. Right. I just want you know I want to be able to interpret it the way I. The, yeah, everyone's gonna interpret it differently, you know. But that's not necessarily a Barbie doll either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might be a brat doll. No, just kidding. <laughs> right. Exactly. Who said it's not a brat doll? Right. Any <laughs> acting television. Um, well, I'm not doing any right now. I do have some scripts, though. It's weird. Wow. People have been sending me, like, scripts and stuff. But I wanted to just focus on Pink Friday, like, you know, because I don't want to lend myself to something else. Like, when I do something, I like to really go in and, like, just focus right. on it. And, I, you know, I didn't want to be selfish and kind of half-ass do a movie thing. But I've been getting some pretty good offers. Now, is it true? Because, uh, you know, I used to be the assistant manager at this Red Lobster. Oh, I, wo I used to work at Red Lobster. Are you serious? Yes. I so what did you do at Red Lobster? I was a waitress. <laughs> I, just, so really? I was a waitress. Okay. You didn't know Them that, Them damn cheese biscuits. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, Ebony. I represent for Applebee's in the house. Oh, well, oh really? Yeah. But I don't... Apple Applebee's and Red Lobster. That's 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 I worked there in college. Like, you know. I mean, I, 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 all right. Yeah, but we did kind of have like Applebee's Red Lobster beef like mm -hmm. back in the day. Oh, <laughs> like, it was like the Applebee's waitresses 
thought they was better because they had a, a newer establishment. Right. And so they went over and tried to start working at Applebee's, but we was at Red Lobster thinking we was cute. Uh-huh. But, yeah, I mean, I got fired at, from, like, five different Red Lobsters. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Like, what did you get fired yeah, What? I, I got fired from, like, every Red Lobster you could think of. <laughs> the Bronx, Long Island, Queens, what? everywhere. Why? What would you do? Well, I don't know why, but they thought I had an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> no, because so you went to, you you went to work at another one. I, but but what's so crazy is that you had to lie and said you had never worked at Red Lobster before. And I swear to God, I'm not trying to be funny. So I used to lie on the application until they would find me out. Like I'm, people would notice me, as, and then they would go and tell the manager. They was haters back then. Like I had haters since Red Lobster. <laughs> they was always trying to hate on the kid, get a little money in my pocket. And but. you've been through a lot, and, and that makes you who you are. Mm -hmm. um, your father was he an alcoholic and drug? yeah, he was he was an alcoholic and a drug addict. He still suffers with alcoholism. Um, but yeah, and when I came like from Trinidad, like I thought this was gonna be paradise. You know, my parents, I'm, I'm getting reunited with my parents, but I hadn't seen them, seen them for two years. And you know, when you come to America, you think it's gonna be like what you see on TV, right. but it wasn't. It was like during the, the crack era, and it was like my father was like stealing to get drugs. So from a very, very, very early age, I had to like be on the lookout, couldn't trust anybody, didn't know if we were gonna get awoken out of our sleep because cops were being called. It was really crazy. Wow. So, so at what point um, did you know, realize like, hey man, I made it, man. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. We here. I don't know that I eat, really, to be honest, I'm not trying to be funny. I still don't feel like I've made it. Like, I haven't right. put my album out yet. Um, I haven't toured the world. I, I still feel like I'm an underground female rapper from Queens that's like on my grind. And if you, and if you keep thinking like that, you'll stay hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's it's so yeah, funny because that's what Swiss Beats told me the other day. He was like, oh, he was like, you you got it right now. He was like, just stay hungry. Yeah. Don't ever feel like, oh, I'm good. Like I don't ever want to feel like I'm good. Keep I got those butterflies in your stomach before you go on stage. I'll be about to throw up. I'm talking about <laughs> everything. My whole body just, really? you know, absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm 21 years in. Wow. You know, so yeah, keep keep doing what you're doing. That's good stuff right there. Now, you go out there and just let their ass have it. Yeah. Now, who's on the wish list to work with that like didn't necessarily make Pink Friday or you haven't done a mixtape collab with? Um, I'd like to work with Missy. Um, she's she's inspired me a lot with her crazy, you know, crazy antics and stuff. Um, I always say I like to work with I would like to work with B. I would like to work with Enya because she does the kind of music wow. that I really really love. That's that's the kind of music that I listen to when I'm like f the world. It's just me and Enya, and I'm just trying to you know get some peace in my life. But um, to be honest, I always look at it like it's gonna, it, to me, the song is more important than the artist I collab with. Like if it's a dope song and I can see like a visual and I really wanna be a part of it, I'm down to working with anyone, to be honest. Awesome, man. Hold on, make sure I ain't leaving nothing out. We recording, so it's all good. Uh, so, all right, here, here I am. All right, now a lot of, you know, all the little girls, especially the, uh, the little teenage girls love you. Yeah. Clothing line. It's funny, um, we're working out something. We're working on something. I didn't want to jump into it because I thought it was kind of corny for like everybody, every rapper got a clothing line, everybody, you know. It, whatever you do, please don't put a, a J Lo big on it and House of Dairy, the, the big black. Like, <laughs> some of the stuff is cute. But you don't want to make it. I don't want it. Logo. Yeah, just make it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Concerns. I mean, <laughs> you don't yeah. know what aggravate with you don't, you don't House of Darion got the big thing looking like the steel assemble, and uh, who else? J Lo got J Lo across the butt, but the stuff be cute, but who? You don't want, and yeah, not yeah. everybody Too wants much. to do that. Too much. It only works if those are really your initials, right? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Well, I'll try to make it subtle. And also, if I did something, I kind of wanted to start off small and build. You know, why Ricky over there crack? Because he gets crazy. tickled and he's sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, 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 how's the Darian clothes really aggravate you? Oh, my God, it's got the stuff up everywhere. Clothes got tattoos on them. Okay, it's House of so er So, everybody on the plane, everybody on the airplane going to the All Star game, what they had no, on? Essence Festival. <laughs> House of Darion clearance rack was empty because everybody had it all on the phone. <laughs> That ain't about me. Uh, Nikki, thank you so much for stopping by. Anything you want to say to your fans? I just want to say to all the people that have been supporting me, thank you very much. Some of you guys have been with me since like 07, 08, and you know how important and how sentimental this album is. I came from three mixtapes, DVDs, and everybody telling me that this day would never happen. So the fact that we have the album is coming, I'm very excited. Thank you to everyone for supporting me. My bars, my chem bars, my boys, my studs, I love you.
Alright, Thanksgiving, Christmas coming up in the ideal world, where you gonna be? Oh, you know I'm having a big party in um, New York, Hammerstein Ballroom on Thanksgiving. Word? Yes. And I'm trying to work out something real, real special for Christmas, but I'm trying to partner up with the right person or company to do it where I can give back to the people in Queens because, you know, that's where I'm from.